And now we continue our coverage with news from the Outer Banks. The full impact of the storm was more than expected, and now residents have a long cleanup ahead. Dinner on your side, Danny Fox was down there to take a look at the damage. This is what we're talking about when we talk about storm surge. This is the Albemarle Sound. You can see the water coming over onto the road. It's not even high tide. That's a few hours away. Matthew's morning call delivered a heavy dose of gusting hurricane force winds across the Outer Banks, driving rain, flooding waters. No area seemed to be untouched. By dawn's early light, Old Glory survived, tattered through the battle, but gave proof that our flag was still there. The Silver Corvette, a top line ride, symbolizes all Matthew had to give. He did not discriminate. Aaron Bowman, concerned about south side flooding. You worried about the south side flooding now? Yeah, if the wind switches around to the northwest, it's gonna push all that water back up. And there's good reason, as the angry, anxious Albemarle was looking to run, she took on the stiletto, a high heel, pontoon, bucking bronc, up and down, pulling and fighting against the roaring force of the Albemarle sound, holding on by a thread, pierced on the left side by a piling. The stiletto wouldn't give up or give in. We found this lone figure in the mist, a man walking to help others, so dedicated he would end up hitchhiking to get where he had to go. I'm working at the hospital and they just called a surgery, a C-section, so I've got to get in. Matthew knocked out power to thousands on the Outer Banks. There was hardly any power poles left, standing on 64, heading to Manio. The experts believe after all is said and done, Hurricane Matthew will be every bit as bad as Hurricane Floyd for flooding and damage in the state of North Carolina. In Axe Head, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.